seat belt is properly mounted and secured. It is not ripped or frayed, and it adjusts and latches properly. Now I'm going to do a safe start. I'm going to fully depress my clutch. I'm going to make sure my truck is in neutral. I'm going to turn the key to the right. I'm checking that the ABS lights here on the dashboard go on and turn off, indicating there's nothing wrong with my ABS. It will be here and on the rear driver's side of my trailer. Now I'm going to start my engine. My left turn signal light indicator is working properly. My right turn signal light indicator is working properly. My high beam light indicator is working properly. My DEF light indicator is working properly. And my four way light indicators are working properly. My fire extinguisher is behind my seat. It is properly mounted and secured. It is not cracked, bent, or broken. It is fully charged and the security pin is in place. My three red reflective triangles are under the bunk and my spare electrical fuses are in the glove box. I have at least six spare electrical fuses. My windshield and traffic monitoring devices. I have no cameras for the rear or side views of, for this truck. My windshield and mirrors are clean. There's no cracks, breaks, and there are no obstructions. My mirrors are adjusted properly for me and they adjust properly from the inside of the truck. My wiper arms and blades are secured. They're free of damage and they operate smoothly. My washers operate correctly and I have washer fluid for this truck. My heater and defrosters are operating properly. My electric horn operates properly and my air horn operates properly. Now I'm going to do the parking and trailer brake check. I'm going to test the trailer brake first. I'm going to set the trailer brake, release the tractor brake, and I'm going to pull against the trailer. Now I'm going to test my tractor brake. I'm going to set I'm going to release, make sure that the trailer air supply valve is released, and I'm going to release the parking brake valve. I'm going to wait for the gauges to stabilize while depressing my brake.
I'm checking that I do not lose more than 4 PSI in one minute while listening for air leaks. Will you kind me? I did not lose more than 4 PSI in one minute. Now I'm going to do the air warning device test. I'm going to pump my brakes down until the warning light and buzzer come on. This should happen before 55 PSI. Warning light and buzzer are now on. Now I'm going to do the emergency brake test. I'm going to pump my brakes down until both protection valves pop out. This should happen between 20 to 45 PSI, no earlier or later. This completes my air brakes check and this completes my in vehicle engine start inspection. Now I'm going to ask if you will help me check that my lights are working correctly. First, I'll have you check the front of the vehicle. The front of the vehicle together will be my clearance lights, my marker lights, and my low beam headlights, and then individually will be my left turn signal, my right turn signal, my four rays, and my high beams. Side of the vehicle will be, um, I will have you inspect the side of the vehicle and the side of the trailer. There will be my left turn signal, my right turn signal, my four rays, and my marker lights. Now, first I'll have you inspect my rear driver's side of the trailer that the ABS light goes on and turns off indicating there's nothing wrong with the ABS and then afterwards I will have you inspect the rear of the trailer. That will be my left turn signal, my right turn signal, my four ways, my brake lights, and my tail lights. dripping fluids on or around the underside of the engine or transmission and there are no puddles under the truck. General hoses, airlines, and connectors are properly mounted and secured. They're at both ends. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. They're not leaking. Hose and line couplings and fittings are secured and they're not missing. General hoses, airlines, and connectors, driver side, are properly mounted and secured. They're not at both ends. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. They're not leaking. Hose and line couplings and fittings are secured, and they're not missing. The belt-driven water pump, the gear-driven air compressor, and the gear-driven power steering pump are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken, and they are not leaking. Now I'm going to do the fluid levels. Coolant is used to cool off the engine. It is filled to the manufacturer specification here on the sight glass between add and full markers. It is not leaking and the cap is on tight. I'll never remove the cap when the engine is hot. Power steering fluid is used to assist wheel action on the front steering wheels. It is filled to the manufacturer specification here on the sight glass between the add and full markers. It is not leaking and the cap is on tight. Engine oil is used to lubricate the engine. It is filled to the manufacturer specification here on the dipstick. To check it, I will pull it out. I will wipe it off. 
I'll put it back in and I'll pull it back out checking that it is filled between the add and full marking on the dipstick. The dipstick is properly mounted and secured and it is not leaking. Now, the power steering box and hoses. The power steering box is properly mounted and secured. It is not cracked, bent, or broken, and it is not leaking. The hoses and connectors are not cracked, worn, or leaking. The connecting links, arms, and rods from the power steering box to the wheel is not cracked or worn and the joints and sockets are not worn or loose. The steering system has no missing nuts, bolts, or cotter pins. When inspecting that my tire is properly inflated, I will use an air gauge, checking that it is filled between 90 to 100 PSI. I will inspect that all valve stems are visible and accessible, they're not broken or damaged, and there are no missing valve caps. That there is no cuts or damage to the tread or the sidewalls, and there are no bumps or bulges on the sidewalls. When inspecting tread depth, I will use a tread depth gauge, inspecting that my steer tires are no less than 4 seconds of an inch, and all other tires are no less than two thirty seconds of an inch. When inspecting my dual tires, I will be making sure that they match in all aspects. My rim, my rim, my rim is not bent, damaged, or broken. There's no brush trails that may indicate looseness. Studs and bolt holes are not elongated. There are no missing nuts or bolts, and there are no welding repairs. All lug nuts are present. There's no signs of looseness such as rust trails or shiny threads. And there are no broken studs. My leaf springs are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're not shifted and none are missing. My leaf spring mounts are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. And there are no missing parts. I have no air ride suspension for the front steering axle of this truck, which means I have no airbags. My shock absorber is properly mounted and secured. It's not damaged and it's not leaking. The truck and the trailer are sitting level, front to rear, side to side. And if the truck is leaning to either side, this may indicate there's something wrong with the suspension. There's no cracked, worn, or frayed hoses or lines. All hose or line couplings and fittings are secured and they're not missing. They're not, the hose is not leaking and is able to supply air to the braking system. There's no oil, grease, or debris between the brake drum and the brake lining and braking should not be affected in any way by contaminants. The lenses for the side of the vehicle and the side of the trailer, here, here, up here, right there, and down there, are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked or broken. They are clean. They're not missing. And then they're in the proper color of amber. I have no camera for the rear side of this vehicle. My mirrors and my bracket, or my mirrors are clean and they are not cracked or broken here and here. My mirror brackets are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken and there are no missing parts. battery. All batteries are secure. All connections are tight. There's no signs of excessive corrosion. Cables and lines are secured and battery box or, and not cracked or worn and battery box cover is secured. 
my DEF tank and my fuel tank are properly mounted and secured. The caps are on tight and they're not leaking from the tanks or the lines. The frame and cross members for the truck and the trailer are secured. There's no cracks, broken welds, holes, or other damage. There is no cracks, breaks, or holes to the floor of the truck or the trailer. And this trailer has no tandem release lever or pins. Air and electric air and electric connectors for the truck and the trailer are seated and sealed. They are free of damage and they are locked in place. Air hoses and electric lines are not cut, cracked, chafed, spliced, taped, or worn, and the steel braid must not be showing through. I'll be listening for air leaks. Electric and air lines are not crimped, pinched, tangled, or dragging against the vehicle or the ground. The sliding fifth wheel skid plate is properly mounted and secured to the vehicle by the fifth wheel platform. There's no cracks, breaks, or excessive wear, and it is properly lubricated. The kingpin is in place, and it is not bent, damaged, or worn. The visible part of the apron is not cracked, bent, or broken. There is no gap between the apron and the fifth wheel, and the trailer is laying flat against the fifth wheel skid plate, and everything is properly lubricated. The locking jaw is fully secured around the kingpin, and there is no play between the locking jaw and kingpin. The release arm is in the engaged position and the safety latch is in place. The sliding fifth wheel locking pins are in the engaged position and the locking pins are not damaged or missing. The landing gear is fully raised and the crank handle is secured. The landing pads and the support frame are not damaged and there are no missing parts. There is proper space between the landing gear and the fifth wheel so that the tractor frame will clear the landing gear when making turns. The reflective tape for the rear or for the sides of the trailer are present and affixed properly. The reflective tape for the rear side of the trailer is present and affixed properly. The lenses for the rear side of the trailer are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked or broken. They're clean. They're not missing. And then they are in the proper color of red.